Hello. <laughs> well, I guess some people get drawn to old gramophones, some to old clocks. I get rather drawn to old sock knitting machines. And just in case you're wondering what on earth I'm on about, I will show you a picture. So this is typical of the sort of breed. They're hand cranked machines. They have a cylinder with lots of needles in them and essentially the wool goes through and you get a sock tube coming out the bottom. And they used to be very popular. Um, they were heavily promoted in the First World War for knitting socks for the soldiers in the trenches. There was quite a shortage of socks and of course warm feet stop you getting trench foot which was a nasty fungus which actually incapacitated huge numbers of soldiers. Well anyway uh, the British Red Cross and International Red Cross did actually do a few campaigns to get people knitting lots of socks. Now if ever you've tried knitting socks by hand you'll know it takes a long time. It's um, probably a week's knitting on and off. It's, it's very fine needles, very fine wool. But these sock knitting machines, hand crank machines, were churning them out if you were very quick and very effective, probably in about an hour to make a pair of socks. Anyway, my interest got sort of rekindled because last Christmas, one of my sons bought me some hand cranked socks. This is what I've got my wife for Christmas this year. These are actually, and it's not a paid promotion, they're from the Woolly Wyvern on the Shetland Isles. But they were done on an old knitting machine, an old auto knitter knitting machine. I'd looked a few years back and they fetched a fair price on eBay, but I had a look recently and wow, <laughs> they've gone up, a good investment. Um, I haven't, I've been looking around, I've seen a few sort of like secondhand ones that needed quite a lot of work. And very often, fair enough, people don't want to post them because they're heavy and they're delicate. So anyway, I found in my sort of exploits for looking a few which have been 3D printed. And I thought, well, that's quite interesting. Perhaps I could do something similar. And then I thought to myself, no, actually, I don't really like the idea of 3D printing. I said to my son on these, my youngest son on the Sunday, nah, I don't think it's for me. Um, not that keen, you know, you're waiting around hours for stuff to print and it's all computer files and all of that. Anyway, on the Monday morning, I had to laugh because into my inbox comes this special offer, 3D uh, printer, quite a nice spec model, looked fine for these purposes. I uh, thought, yeah, okay, <laughs> I'll go for it. <laughs> so literally within 24 hours, completely nuts, but I got myself a 3D printer. And there's some very good individuals uh, on the net who have provided files, CAD files for printing these things. So I thought, okay, let's have a go. And I'll put a link down below for the machine that I'm building. And it's on a website called Thingiverse. So you can download all these files nowadays it's all just moved on so much. The printers are better, the technology is better, and there's so much more in the way of files and general support. So someone like myself with not very much experience could easily get in there and start making this machine. So I have been printing out uh, parts of this machine for a couple of weeks now, on and off, and some of the bits take a long time. So I'll show you where I've got to. So here you are, my 3D printed sock machine. It's still being built, but I am sort of slowly getting there. And essentially I'll come in a bit closer here. We've got a cylinder. This will hold all the needles. And then there's like a clam shell and some drive cogs and a crank handle with a big cog. So the idea is you turn the handle and all of this upper stuff, the clam shell starts going round and the needles pop up, come into play, and then pop down again. So it's getting there. I've still got quite a lot of work to do on this, but I'm quite happy with the way it's going. Just out of quick interest, some of these parts take a long time to print. I mean, the cylinder took me about 20 hours to print. The clamshell was quite a long time. I think it was something like 15 hours, and the cogs probably something like eight, eight hours. It is quite slow. So that's the main body. I've done a wooden base thing here to hold it all together. One could 3D print 
but I take the view I'm better at woodwork than I am at 3D printing. And then I'm modifying the designs a bit because I'm going to use a knitting machine tension unit that I got, got off eBay. I think that's probably a more modern way of getting the tension. So I'm going to try that out. And I've got things like old knitting machine weights. So you need some weights to hold things down. So I've got these sorts of things. So yeah, that's the plan. It's been quite a good project so far. No major mishaps. I didn't really appreciate how much sanding and finishing the 3D printed stuff needs. Yeah, I got this rather clever little tool for taking the burrs off of things, which is quite effective. It's basically a replaceable little curved blade here that swings, it rotates. And you just sort of rub it along an edge that you want to trim and it takes off a tiny sliver. So hopefully before too long I'll be able to show you a video where I'm actually using the machine and making some socks which would be good fun. So you know what everyone will be getting for Christmas from me next year. A quick mention just to say the great book continues to sell really well. Thank you very much for everyone who's been buying my shoemaking book makes an excellent Christmas or post Christmas gift. You can get one for yourself. Look at all these, lots of lovely pictures, lots of explanations, how to make a pair of shoes by hand from start to finish. Yeah, something nice for the Christmas, eh? It's making handmade shoes, a step-by-step -step guide. And it's on Amazon. UK, US, I have a list. It's on Amazon, Germany, France, Spain, Italy, Netherlands, Poland, Sweden, Canada. So there you are. And it's been selling very well. Bargain price, go for it. <laughs> okay then, <laughs> bye bye and thanks for watching. <laughs> See you in the next video, bye bye.